Hello everyone and welcome back guys to another F1 2018 video where today we're here for something a little bit different. Now obviously as you've seen if obviously you have been checking out videos on this channel recently I would highly highly recommend doing so. There is a huge amount of content that has already gone up from this game. There is a huge amount more content that will be going up from this game over the coming weeks and days. So make sure you know if you are new around here you do hit that subscribe button. I cannot thank everyone enough for the huge amount of support we've had so far over the course of these videos. But today we are going to be doing my first drive in the rain and I thought we'd, we'd, we'd head to Singapore. You know, probably in terms of the F1 games, actually probably I'd say one of the best circuits that Codemasters have obviously implemented into the Formula 1 games and especially uh, on 2017 where obviously you could race it a day as well. Obviously it really, really did add. You saw how much sort of detail Codemasters had put in to the game but obviously we're going to be racing at night we're almost going to be doing an f1 2017 real life gp challenge here today obviously in the heavy heavy rain driving as daniel ricardo here at the singapore grand prix circuit obviously i'll be pretty surprised if even not many even if you aren't a particularly dedicated f1 fan if you didn't know what happened in last year's grand prix here but let's move on then into the singapore gp So here we are, after a breathtaking qualifying yesterday, the cars are taking their final positions on the grid. It's time now for the Singapore Grand Prix. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas, the fin starts from pole position, and Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Ricardo, Lewis Hamilton, and Verstappen, Grosjean, Perez, Magnussen, and Nico Hülkenberg, Van Dorn, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, and Ocon, Gasly, Ericsson, Brendan Hartley, and Lance Stroll, Leclerc, and Sergei Sorokin rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. So here we are then, on the grid, ready for the Singapore Grand Prix. It is three lights, four lights, five lights here in the rain and it's lights out and away we go and not off to the best start in the world i will openly admit you know running no assists once again you know i really didn't want to light up the race and is Xena hamilton and verstappen both with well almost i felt like max verstappen in the real life grand prix there with obviously kimmy and seb completely swamping him off the start there but yeah we do get out the inside of lewis hamilton though we're going to be side by side on the long, long run down towards turn three. And you can just see that Jeff just telling me about the front wing damage on the car. Not really too sure. Obviously, we're certainly not going to pit in just a three lap race. But that's sort of another thing I wanted to talk about with the halo, obviously. I cannot see that damage at the moment, you know. So it's almost like you, you may as well drive in at cockpit cam. Because where well, you just cannot see the damage on the front wing anymore. Which really does sort of add an extra strategy element. To the game you know you've got to completely rely on the hud obviously if you've got that enabled as well but you know for for some people that will do pro season mode it is going to be really really tough to notice what is going on there but we're just gonna have a look on the assist because i honestly thought you know i'd gone half a lap without spinning i thought i might have actually been running medium traction control but grosjean gets past me that i'm gonna go for the worst move in the world i'm gonna completely openly admit that it was absolutely shocking that grosjean then squeezes me back into the wall making sure that he does not lose out on that position so i'm gonna go for attempt two of the worst dive bomb in the world they're just well I, i'd recommend glossing over that tiny little incident there between myself and the hash driver there but we do move back up into p6 of this grand prix here so we're still going just about all right at the moment as we come down into towards sector three of the opening lap of this grand prix and i must say the rain effect I prefer it over F1 2017. Now, personally, you know, sort of, there was a lot of hype around the 2017 rain effect. Obviously, it would really go all over the uh, view of the camera, no matter what camera you were on. So, obviously, it made it a lot harder to drive in the rain. Personally, I thought it was a bit too much. There were too many sort of misty bits, if you will, all sort of across your screen. And I think this is a. I think you know they sort of understood the balance of it. Probably wasn't quite perfect. So, I think obviously for this game. They've changed it around a bit, and I really, really do prefer it relative to F1 at 2017. But I'm going to leave you on board then with a small snippet of this Red Bull car going around this track.
So unfortunately there, yeah, accidentally changed the camera angle and that meant that I did go for a tiny mistake there. But yeah, it's certainly quite obviously good that all the cars do sound very, very differently there as well. I, I may accidentally have slightly crashed going in to the next corner there. So fortunately, once again, you know, we'll test the rewind system of this game. But yeah, just not obviously very, very nice. Obviously, you'd expect this from a modern F1 game nonetheless. That obviously all the cars do sound that bit different. You know, all the Mercedes cars sound very, very similar. But then obviously you've got things like the Red Bull with the Renault power unit sounding very, very different. I have also got a couple of videos of the Ferrari as well from the F1 2018 game that should be coming out over the next few days as well. So obviously, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of the Toro Rosso. So that was a little bit unfortunate on that front, which means obviously we don't get to listen to the Honda Power Unit on the F1 2018 game just yet. But obviously, I'm sure I will make a few videos of that car further on down the line. But now as you can just see, putting the ERS up into overtake mode, then we're going to send it down the inside of Lewis Hamilton there, purple going through the first couple of sections there, certainly very, very happy with that one, and now back up into P5 of this race. Is. So overall, you know, this race so far is going quite well, only only had to rewind once, we've lost quite a bit of our front wing, but I must say, obviously, the most important thing about this is the gameplay, and Singapore in the rain, I think, well, hopefully we can all agree here, obviously, if you've got your settings turned up on YouTube as well. Unfortunately, YouTube will decompress it just a bit, uh, but yeah, obviously still looking absolutely fantastic in the F1 2018 game. This is really what uh, we want to see on the whole, you know, just looking... Well, obviously they really want to give you as full of an immersive experience as they possibly can. And I think having things like this implemented into the game, you know, such good graphics and everything. Obviously this was recorded on the Xbox One X, which means that it's a 4K checkerboard, if I'm not mistaken. So obviously when it's downscaled to 1080p, it does look absolutely stunning. You know, the performance is a little bit better than you would find on a standard Xbox One. So obviously there is sort of that element to it as well. But even then, you know, this game on my original OG Xbox One still does look absolutely fantastic on the whole. But as we come through in towards Sex 2, the we're, we're starting to find a little bit of a rhythm on the pad. You know, by this point of the afternoon, I'd started to just about get used to it, sort of, at times. Which is obviously probably quite ideal on the whole, which, yeah, you know, really, really wanted to try and make sure, you know, I, I could get used to this game, but as I've said in previous videos, you know, I'll be moving to the wheel when I do get my hands on a full, oh, well, I say a full copy of the game, you know, my own copy of the game further on down the line as well here. We're almost coming towards the end of this Grand Prix now, breaking down in towards the hairpin one final time there. Still struggle to get the crank lock on the controlling arm, just obviously where I'm not used to it. It is sometimes still quite difficult to do so there. And as we come now down into the final sector of the Singapore Grand Prix, almost run it into the wall there as we come down through, well, pretty much all into the 90 degree corners to the end of this Grand Prix here. And so far, you know, for my first drive in the wet, I was overall pretty happy with the race myself there. And hopefully, you know, you guys have enjoyed this video as well but as we come through yep this has been there for the Singapore Grand Prix in the heavy rain driving as Daniel Ricciardo there certainly a very very enjoyable little challenge for me to do as I said hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video as well as we come through the final corner though lighting up the rear wheels they're spinning it over the line they're finishing in style and there we are though that was the Singapore Grand Prix Mercedes today, that's another historic win. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes then are on top today.
And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I'm going to say Carlos Sainz. It was probably one of his best drives this season, and I was thoroughly impressed. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. So there we are then, guys. That has been a short little video of the Singapore Grand Prix circuit. Thank you so, so much for watching, if you have made it this far into the video. Make sure you do like and subscribe for more F1 2018 game content coming to the channel over the coming few days, and then obviously over the next few weeks with the new game dropping as well. But I will see you guys next time for a brand new video.